This is a tutorial on working capital uh, changes. So we are going to look at a list of uh, transactions which indicate changes in the current assets or current liabilities. And then we're going to say whether this uh, results in an increase in the uh, cash of the business inflow or decrease in the cash of the business, which is an outflow. So let's look at this first uh, transaction and it says debtors showed an increase of 8000 during this financial year compared to the previous year. So just imagine that there is this balance sheet and in the balance sheet you have numbers for two years and you have debtors shown there. You have 2019 numbers and 2020 numbers and there is an increase of 8000. So let's say debtors were 10,000 and now they are 18,000. So now there is an increase of 8000 and this transaction here, uh, you know, is only show, uh, giving you information about the increase, not the two balances. Typically, you would be given a balance sheet and using the balance sheet, you have to uh, calculate the changes. So here we only have the change. So debtors show an increase of 8000 during this financial year. Now, is this an inflow of cash? Is this an outflow of cash and why? is these are the questions that we are going to answer in this video so debtors means the amount has been blocked you sold money uh, you sold goods to the business money has to be received so amount block is equal to you know outflow of cash because you would have paid for uh, uh, paid for the goods that you sold to the customer and they have not paid you so this is an outflow uh, so if this goes up, if the debtors are going up, so debtors are this, yeah. So if the debtors go up, if debtors go up, then what is happening is you're selling more, you're not receiving the money, more amount is being blocked, which means more outflow. This results in more cash outflow. All right. In this case, yes, this is what is uh, happening. 8,000 rupees worth of more debtors means that uh, there is an outflow in the business. So we are discussing working capital changes. Working capital is made up of current assets and current liabilities. We look at each of the current asset. Uh, we are looking at one type of current asset, which is debtors. If debtors go up, so the conclusion is, if the debtors uh, increase, this will result in an outflow. All right. This is the learning from this slide. All right. Let's go on to next page. I have another item here. This says creditors increase during the year by 10,000. Again, imagine the balance sheet and in the balance sheet, you have creditors. You have data for two years and there's an increase of 10,000. So from 10,000, the balance has changed to uh, 20,000. Creditors are suppliers. So to, you know, from these suppliers, you purchase, you purchase uh, goods, raw material, whatever else, and you have to pay. When you don't pay, they become the creditors. So if creditors are increasing, so if creditors are increasing, so if there are more creditors, that means you have saved the money, you've not paid to them. So this means that you have saved the money. And in the previous video, I spoke about uh, how you can you know, think about this, that you paid to creditors and creditors came back and said, please keep the money, pay me after two months, right? Then you have the inflow. Uh, only accept that that doesn't happen. You just uh, assume that you save the money. Uh, you don't need to pay to the creditor, which means this is an inflow. Inflow of cash. All right. So the conclusion is the learning from this slide is that creditors, when they increase, this results in inflow. Inflow of cash. This is the learning from this slide. And let me compare this to the learning from the previous slide where debtors, current assets were increasing 
and this was an outflow here creditors current liability increasing is outflow so uh, these are two different things increase in debtors is outflow and increase in creditors is inflow let's look at another transaction this is uh, not transaction but another uh, account balance prepaid expenses show an increase prepaid expenses are shown on the asset side so prepaid expense had a balance of let's say 200 now the balance is 400 this was 2019 this is 2020 so there is an increase of 200 so prepaid expense means that you paid in advance meaning cash is certainly going out before the benefit is being received so this means that uh, there is an outflow there is an outflow you are paying in advance the benefit has not been received therefore whenever you see an increase whenever there are more prepaid expenses actually this is quite clear very straightforward it says you paid more prepaid more expenses this should result in outflow of cash the learning from the slide is that when the current asset named uh, prepaid prepaid expense whenever it increases it is resulting in outflow of the cash and that's it let's look at bills receivable this is uh, item number four bills payable sorry so bills payable are going to be shown in the balance sheet under the current liabilities so bills payable uh, they are decreasing by 4000 so let's say they were 10000 and now they are only 6000 this is 2019 and 2020 when there is a decrease of 4000 what does it mean bills payable represents a liability which means you have not paid when the bills payable are more that means you have not made the payment so more bills payable means payment not made if payment not made where is that cash well you save that cash in the business which means this is an inflow of cash all right so um, these are outstanding expenses in a way you could call them as well but there can be slight differences uh, businesses use these nomenclatures to club various expenses under different heads what is the learning the learning is when you have a liability called bills payable and when it is decreasing that means you have paid for it and if you paid for it this is an outflow there you go let's look at outstanding expenses now number five yeah outstanding expenses decrease during uh, the year uh, as well the bills payable were decreasing as well maybe we should take an increase just to distinguish otherwise it will be a repetition so in the balance sheet under the current liabilities you have outstanding expenses they are increasing from 2000 to 4000 there is an increase so when there are more outstanding expenses it means that you did not pay you have not paid but you have received the benefit for it not paid means you have saved the cash which is equivalent which is equivalent to uh, cash inflow what is the learning from the slide the learning is that whenever you have outstanding expenses and they are increasing it results in cash inflows this is the learning from this slide one more item on stock stock is decreasing in the balance sheet you have stock in 2019 unsold stock was 4000 and now you have stock worth only 2000 it is going down so the stock which is unsold the idea is to sell it you want to sell it as soon as possible when you sell it you make cash 
so whenever uh, you know stock increases sorry this is decrease whenever stock decreases that means you have sold the stock and when you have sold the stock it would have brought in income this is an inflow so the learning is stock when decreases between two years brings in cash for the business so there are inflows for the business all right so so these were some of the transactions that i want to look at now what we will do is to summarize we'll look through all uh, the uh, transactions all the items account balances that we saw and we'll try to find out a pattern what is the pattern that uh, is being followed is there any pattern at all so let's start with debtors what are debtors debtors are current assets current assets increase is this an inflow outflow outflow all right current assets increase outflow then you have current uh, liability there is an increase and this is an inflow then you have a current asset again this is an increase and this is a outflow this is a current liability and this, there is a decrease and this is an outflow outstanding expenses are also current liability there is an increase and this is an inflow i hope you are seeing the pattern this is a current asset decrease and there is uh, an inflow okay so there are two uh, categories of uh, items involved in working capital there are current assets and there are current liabilities and you know two change changes are happening in two directions either there is increase in the current assets or uh, current liabilities or there is a decrease in current assets or a current liabilities so this kind of becomes a two by two uh, matrix you know this is how you can understand uh, the changes in working capital now in a better way so what is happening uh, when current assets increase what is the uh, effect on the cash flows so we are going to take these one by one so in this transaction current asset decreasing is inflow so current asset decreasing is inflow in transaction 5 uh, in transaction 6 sorry this is fifth current liability increasing inflow current liability increasing so i should write inflow here let's go to number 4 right in here current liability decrease outflow current liability decrease outflow and number four uh, this is done number three current asset increase outflow current asset increase this should be outflow two more to go number two is creditors current liability increase and inflow current liability increase this is also inflow <clears throat> and the first was current asset increasing and outflow current asset increase and outflow there you go we looked at six items one two three four five and six and this is the trend we uh, we we are seeing if current assets increase it always results in outflows All, uh, although you know you could argue that there is only one and one here and these numbers are not sufficient but uh, if you were to take more current assets and current liabilities, you will see the same pattern. So uh, this is uh, an outflow. So I'll say O, oh, this is an inflow, this is an inflow and this is an outflow. Now you have to figure out a way to remember all of this if you have to prepare uh, the statement, but gradually it should come intuitively to you. Current assets uh, going down is uh, increase and uh, current assets uh, increasing is uh, an, an outflow and it is opposite for the uh, current liabilities so you have to kind of memorize <laughs> this matrix but uh, that's the learning from uh, this video we uh, we have looked at the changes in working capital which is made up of current asset and current liabilities 
and these changes result in either the inflows of cash or the outflow of, uh, flow of cash and these adjustments need to be made in the first section of cash flow statement of a company. Uh, in the first section there are two parts there is a calculation of cash operating profit and after that we adjust for changes in working capital and that is where this tutorial is going to be helpful. Alright, I'll see you uh, in the next tutorial.